Welcome back. Uh, let's get my next guest out, shall we? She's one of my favourite actresses here on British TV. She's always fantastic, whether in Coy or the upcoming A Touch of Cloth or my new favourite detective series, Scott and Bailey. Let's see you in action. You must be fit, cos uh, I've seen you in Scott and Bailey and you're punching people and kicking them, so you must have the moves. Right, I get paid for that, though, Jonathan. OK, well, well I tell you what, if you beat Jensen, fiver. Right. <laughs> I've got a tight dress on as well, so I've got a disadvantage. OK, well, you say that, but from here... Um, <laughs> if you want, OK, to make up for the tight dress advantage, do you want me to take bottom white right for you? Excellent. OK, good. I'll take bottom white right for you. Right. That's, uh, and that, I'm not offering that to you, Way. <laughs> OK, you ready? ready? So you press forward to start. Get ready. Go! Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 That's a real girly sound you made. <laughs> oh. 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 Go on, Suan. That's it. You beat me. Yes. Okay, that's pretty good, Don. That's why we. That's where we went wrong. We should have won tight dresses. Yeah. Okay. Come on, up, I was Suan. thinking of it. Congratulations, Suan. Don't <laughs> thank you. That's pretty good. Uh, well, say, take a seat. Lovely to have you here. Thank you for joining me. It was a bit girly, that, wasn't it? Well, the noise was, but, yeah. you know, it added to the appeal. <laughs> hey, um, congratulations, Scott and Bailey. I didn't watch it when it first went out. I got it on DVD this mm. week, started watching it. Great fun, and it was one of the biggest hits of last year. Yeah, I know, great. And you came up with the idea as well, didn't you? Yeah, me and Sally Lindsay, who played Shelley in Coronation Street. And I'd left Coronation Street, and I went to the pub with Sally, and we had a few bottles of wine. And we kept thinking that there should be an idea where there's two female protagonists, cop show, but that would show their home life as well as being a cop. And um, we're starting the third season in November. So it'll be on next year? Yeah, March 2013. So you're obviously enjoying doing that. It must be lovely actually being involved in the creation of it. As opposed, I know, you know, if you're having great parts written for you anyway, mm. it's fine. But at the same time, to, to be invested in it personally, that must make a real difference. Yeah, and I think that um, I, when I came out of Corrie, there was, um, you know, lots of parts, but a lot of them were kind of um, wives, mistresses, um, daughters of, and, yeah. and this was an opportunity, um, and with Sally's brilliant writing, to kind of really have two meaty female roles. Uh, you mentioned Chloe, of course, which is what kind of mm. first put you on the map for most people, I guess. Yeah. Uh, I've heard rumour you might go back into the show. Have you? <laughs> <laughs> no, and it's a shame when... No, you can't say no. I have heard rumours. Oh, <laughs> but, uh, but I thought you were going back in. No, I'm not. Are you sure? Well, I start Scott and Bailey at Christmas anyway, so we'll be filming that. Mm. And also, I just think that, you know, Steve, poor Steve has had me, Tracy, Becky and... You know, I think that... I mean, it was eight years ago that I left. Oh, God, give him a quiet life. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but it'd be yeah. a bombshell if you came back in. If Karen came back in, that would be an explosive storyline, wouldn't it? Yeah, it'd be fun. And also working with um, Kate Ford, who played, uh, who plays Tracy. I mean, we had some brilliant... Some good fights. Brilliant fights. So when are you going back in? <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> Do you know, the, the last... Um, one of the last fights that me and um, Kate had, um, she came... She wanted to kill Karen with a, a log... <laughs> and, um, as you do, and, um, Eunice Hotheart, this stunt woman, she was doubling me and Tracy Barlow came at Karen McDonald in a car and there was like a Cinderella stunt where the car had to kind of catch a shoe and this stunt went terribly wrong and unfortunately Eunice went to hospital and she broke her ankle. So she was off in an ambulance and then this, um, timid assistant director kind of came up to me in the green room and said, Saran, um, 
uh, you know, with budget and everything, everything's kind of set up and it wasn't that terrible about Eunice. There's just one um, scene to do where we're just going to hang you off the roof backwards. <laughs> Eunice has gone home. Do you mind doing that as a stunt? And I, I was kind of young and went, yeah, OK. So it's me that's hung off the wow. roof backwards. That's a terrifying uh, thing to do a workout for, though. Yeah. Who was Were you tied up to something? Or I you was just... tied, yeah. With Kate Ford, who's, who's sometimes not great at stunts. She's, she's, like, quite girly, so me hitting that, that's kind of Kate, you know, with the log going, ooh, ooh! <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. But, for, you know what, what a great bunch of people and uh, a lot of fun. Well, you know, uh, what must be fun as well, I'm sure, is I saw you in Doctor Who. Did you see uh, Saran in Doctor Who? Which is, what, a great uh, yeah, show to be invited amazing. to be part of. And I would imagine a fairly different kind of fan base. Different people see that to the ones who saw you in Coronation Street. Would I be right? Yeah, it's, it's, it's strange. Like, I'll be on the tube and I'll get, um, like, a 40-year-old man kind of sliding up to me and I'm thinking, you know, God, I'm going to get chided up here. And, um, and they'll say, um, by the way, the Neil Gaiman episode was uh, really great, Doctor Who, really big fan. And then they'll kind of wander back down the tube and I'm like, <laughs> OK. Uh, it surprised me and delighted me when I heard what you were doing next, because this thing, Touch of Cloth, is a, it's kind of an unusual thing for you to be doing, I think. Because it's a cop show. Yeah, let's explain what it is. It's called Touch of Cloth and it's a cop show, but it's not like Scott and Bailey, for example. God, no. No, there are big erections in it <laughs> that get put in pouches. Maybe we should just leave it there, because then I think you're guaranteed a certain audience. Yes. Uh, it's a spoof, isn't it? Really, it's a parody. Yeah, it's Charlie Brooker, and um, if you like... It's silly, silly humour, and if you like um, Naked Gun, Airplane, um, Police Squad, it's basically every cliché. I mean, Charlie has watched so much television over the years. Yeah. You know, I think... I, I think he's just perfect to write it, and um, Dan Mayer, who um, does the Harry Hill show, and, and it's just funny and silly and, and such a good laugh. OK, so you're, John Hanna is the kind of male lead, isn't it? He's Cloth. His name is Cloth. He's Inspector Cloth? Yes, DCI Cloth. Cloth. And you play his new partner? An old man. OK. <laughs> and that's her name. She's not an old man. No, people um, pronounce it old man and she likes to correct them. It's pronounced old man. OK, let's have a look at a clip. Uh, and it is, it did remind me of a police squad and those yeah, kind of shows. Yeah. Uh, this is the clip. When does it start? It starts on Sky 1 next week, I think. It's on um, tomorrow and Monday. Yeah, let's have a look. So you're gay? Bye, Jack. No, don't go. It's none of my business. I'm bisexual, Jack. I'm not ashamed. I just thought you'd be... I don't know... shocked. Nothing shocks me. <laughs> A detective that swings both ways. And AC, DC, DC. See? It's the sort of thing the boys down the station joke about. I'm not laughing. I haven't laughed since my wife died. <laughs> <laughs> That's a touch of cloth. Hey, Sarah, lovely to see you. I can't wait to see you. I'm sure touch of cloth do great, but I'm really uh, looking forward to seeing Scott and Bailey back. Thank Ladies and gentlemen, the lovely Sue Ann Jones. <laughs> Thank you, that was lovely. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Uh, join us after the break. I'll be chatting to Ray Winston. We've got music from Sushi, so don't go away.